What's up everybody, this is Ian Stonerick from Nice Kicks with a performance review on the Adidas D-Rose 3.5. We'll start with the bottom of the shoe. I got to play in the shoes both indoors and outdoors, so let's see how the traction held up. Now as you can see, the outsole is pretty simple. It showcases more branding than technology. With that said, the traction was solid. I had no issues when cutting, stopping, or sliding in this shoe. Also, the shoe transitioned well from indoor to outdoor surfaces and back to indoor, which is usually pretty tough on shoes. Traction remained durable and good through each run. One of my favorite aspects of the D-Rose 3.5 was the cushioning. Again, you're not gonna see much invisible tech on this shoe in regard to cushioning, but they are comfortable from first wear. Not much time needed to break in and they proved durable over time. The showcase technology on the D-Rose 3.5 is the spiral sprint web upper. Now we've seen sprint web before on shoes like the Crazy Light and Crazy Light 2, but this new construction proved more durable and also more comfortable to me. Because of its spiral construction, it was a lot more flexible and pinched less than previous shoes. This was good in regard to comfort and lockdown. Lastly, we'll see a new ankle on this shoe that displays the D-Rose logo. Now the two featured a gore ankle strap, which looked great, but wasn't the most comfortable to play in. The 2.5 updated that with a GeoFit ankle. In my opinion, I think this molded ankle is the best yet. Probably the biggest flaw of the D-Rose 3.5 is breathability. As you can see, there's only visible mesh on this portion of the upper and the tongue. I mean, I wouldn't say that it made the shoe bad to play in, but it definitely could be improved upon. The biggest strengths of the shoe for me were lockdown and cushioning. I felt stable and secure in the shoe when playing in it, and they remained comfortable. Durability is also awesome, seeing as this shoe has been played in indoor and outdoor for the last two months and still look brand new. All in all, I think the D-Rose 3.5 will be enjoyed most by players one through three. I wouldn't recommend this shoe for a big man that's more of a drop step dunk guy. It's not gonna give you the heel cushioning that you desire. But if you like to play on your toes and move around a lot, I think you'll enjoy this shoe. For more detailed description of this performance review, check out our scorecard at nicekicks.com. Till next time, Ian Stonebrook. Thank you.